everybody, this is Rat Hawcat back at you again with another cool video. Today is nice out today, nice sunny day in New Jersey. It's actually about, oh my god, it's 60 degrees, 60 degrees, well, it's actually 59 degrees. I'll give it one more degree. It's 60 degrees in New Jersey. It's really, really a nice day. Got a t-shirt on. Look at the t-shirt. You know what this video is going to be about if I'm wearing the t-shirt. Yeah, today's going to be another cool video. And I promise you this from the last video because we were talking about the Durango Hellcat. This video is going to be another cool video about, well, you see the Hellcat in the driveway. You see the Hellcat Charger in the driveway. Yes, this video is going to be about the new all new for 2021, well, not all new, but new for 2021. And this is a long, long, this could be the longest title of a car, I think in the history of automobiles. But here it goes. The 2021 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Red Eye Wide Body, or just keep it shorter, the, Do the 2021 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Red Eye. Yes, the Red Eye. Why do I always say Red Eye when I say Red Eye? Because I just love how this car is making a difference in the Hellcat Nation world. This Red Eye is going to be, oh, it's, it's going to be a fantastic car. And like I said before, I got my 2018 Charger Hellcat Destroyer Gray, and I love this car to death. Love it, love it, love it but the lease is gonna be up next June. And remember in the last video, we have seven months, seven months to decide whether or not I'm willing to trade my Hellcat Charger in for the Charger Hellcat Red Eye. I am not gonna answer that question right now. I'm gonna answer that question in my final thoughts. So what's this video gonna be about before then? This is all the running footage. This is a video that I've been wanting to do since the end of November. It's December right now. But at the end of November, a Dodge had an event in North Carolina. They had on the racetrack the Dodge Durango Hellcat. They also had on the racetrack the Dodge Charger Hellcat Red Eye on the track in North Carolina. So this video is all about that running footage. Now, of course, I also had some running footage that we did back in August. So we're going to combine the two because we want to give you a, an introduction to the Charger Hellcat Red Eye. Oh my God, I said Red Eye was set without saying Red Eye. The Hellcat Charger Red Eye, we have an introduction to that. We have the 30 second sizzle video. Then we have the three minute intro to the Dodge Charger Hellcat Red Eye. Then we will switch over to North Carolina. And North Carolina is gonna be a cool, cool experience because then in addition to seeing the Hellcat Charger Red Eye on the racetrack in North Carolina, but you're gonna see some different color variations. Different color variations that were new colors for 2020 now going to be seen on a video for the 2021 Charger Hellcat Red Eye. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. Good running footage, some beauty shots. Get your cameras ready in case you want to go snip snip with a screenshot because this stuff is freaking awesome. Also, for those of you that had made comments in the past, the Ral Hellcat music. Yes, the Ral Hellcat music that I put in a lot of these videos. When we hear the running footage of the, on the racetrack of the Charger Red Eye, it's all gonna be wine. It's gonna be exhaust and wine. I'm gonna wait till we do music on the beauty shot. So without further ado, without further ado, let's get into the video. Enjoy it, I hope you enjoy it. And I'll be back with you with final thoughts to, to answer the question, will I be trading in my Charger, 2018 Charger Hellcat for the new 2021 Charger Hellcat Red Eye. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Enjoy.
hope you enjoyed the videos of the new 2021 Dodge Charger Hellcat Red Eye. Yes, the Hellcat Red Eye, the Hellcat Red Eye, yes. Running footage, some beauty shots. Oh my God, which color do we go with? What color do we go with? Let's talk about it in a moment, but all that running footage, awesome sound, the wine is so prevalent. Now the reason for that wine is because they have a new intake on all the red eyes. In fact, I believe also the 717 versions of the 2021 Hellcat will also have that open air box that the Challenger Hellcats have. And what does that mean? That means more wine, more wine. Yes, more wine. Now, of course, I got the wine right now with the leg maker cold air intake, but you're also gonna get a standard cold air intake that's different for this year because it was always an enclosed box. It's been enclosed box for all the 707 Hellcats, Challengers and Chargers had the 707 closed air box. Also, the Trackhawk has it, the Durango Hellcat will have it. And when they upgraded to the 717 horsepower Hellcat Challengers and also the Red Eyes, all have the open air box. As you notice in this video, this will also have the open air box, 797 horsepower Charger Hellcat Red Eye engine. So, it's also believed to have it in the 717 horsepower version, but we have yet to see that on the track. We have yet to see some running footage on that. And as soon as that comes out, I will share that with you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed all the running footage of the Hellcat Charger Red Eye on the track, on the road, some beauty shots. It was all awesome and I hope you enjoyed it. So let's talk about it a little bit. Colors, colors, <laughs> colors, colors. Yeah, colors, colors. The colors are fantastic. Now, which color would I go with? Now, this is going to be a tough decision for me, and I'll tell you why. Because what are my three favorite colors? Well, on the Charger, obviously, Destroyer Gray. But guess what? They don't make Destroyer Gray anymore. At least it's not available for 2021 that I know of. The next color, B5 Blue. B5 Blue. Now, that was a color. Now, this is going to be a fun fact. The B5 Blue version of the Charger wide body for 2020 was only available for the Daytona Hellcat. In fact, Another fun fact for you, I almost got one. If I had the opportunity to get a B5 Blue Charger Wide Body Daytona, Hellcat Daytona, I would have gotten it. However, the only opportunity that I ever had to get the Charger Hellcat Daytona was a black one. Now, if the, it was at the same dealership that I got the Track Hawk at. They called me up and said, Ralph, we have two black Charger Hellcat Daytonas for you. The only thing is that they're both in black. And I told him, I said, I really want B5 Blue. If you got a B5 Blue one, call me up, let me know. We'll make the deal happen. They never got the B5 Blue. And in fact, the B5 Blue is a very popular color. It was probably one of the few colors that basically were sold for over sticker price. So if you wanted to get one, you'd be paying like 80, 85, $90,000 for a B5 Blue one. And it wasn't worth getting. It wasn't worth sacrificing how much I would have lost on this to get out of the lease early. Got to get it with stripes. That, that was the reason why I got the Destroyer Gray. I had the dealership that I got it at because there was a Destroyer Gray. I could have gotten at a closer dealership that didn't have the stripes. This one had the stripes, and I need the stripes. Stripes have to be on a Charger Hellcat all day long. So I would go with triple nickel with either the carbon stripes or the gunmetal stripes. So that's a choice I might consider. Next color. They don't have B5 Blue anymore, so what color would I have substituted for? And this is a strong, strong, strong candidate is the... Frostbite color. Frostbite blue, I absolutely love. I don't love it as much as B5 blue, but I do love it better than the indigo blue. It's not, you know, I don't like the indigo blue. I think it's too, too dark. I like a lighter blue color, and I think that the Frostbite is sort of gonna be the compromise between B5 blue and not having B5 blue. Frostbite, I would consider over indigo blue. So, that's a consideration with silver stripes. I would consider maybe carbon stripes if, if I didn't get to order it myself and it came with carbon stripes, I would take it with carbon stripes, but I really would think I would like it better with silver stripes on Frostbite. It'll give it a little bit of a uh, SRT Mush-esque color combination. Yes, in fact, I did this on the configurator, and, and I don't have prices yet. Sorry to say I don't have prices yet. I don't have a configurator to give you prices. I'll probably have to do that in a separate video. The only thing I do know about the pricing is that the Hellcat Charger Red Eye does start at $78,500. That's the base price. And if you add the destination, it's gonna be around 1,500 bucks, then you're talking $80,200. So $80,200 is gonna be the base price, but 
I did a est rough estimate of what it cost, and it's probably going to cost about 90000 the way I want to spec that, because I want the Laguna leather, I want the red seat belts, I want the hardened carton, I want the sunroof, I want the stripes, I want to go orange calipers, because I never had an opportunity to get the color calipers that I wanted on this. I either want a red or orange. There's nothing wrong with the gunmetal calipers, I just like the red or orange better. If I had a choice, I would either go red or orange. So that would be the color combination. So all that spec'd out, probably about $90,000, $91,000. That's the consideration I'm, I'm thinking with colors. As far as, like, like I said, Plum Crazy, I probably wouldn't get Plum Crazy in this, and I probably wouldn't get the Hell Raisin. Hell Raisin was also in this video. I'm not too big of a fan on Hell Raisin for the Charger, but maybe for the Challenger. Also, Cinnamon Stick. Cinnamon Stick is a great color, too. Just doesn't look good on the Charger for me. Uh, I love it, love it, love it on the Challenger. Why? I don't know. Because the Challenger gives you a little bit of a throwback, and this is more of a modern version of a car, and I want more modern colors that are going to go timeless over time, and that's what I'm looking for. Or, if all else fails, I might do the color combination I was considering if I got the Hellcat Durango, and that would have been black with silver stripes. So black with silver stripes, frostbite with silver stripes, red or orange calipers, probably go with the gunmetal wheels, uh, red seat belts. Gotta go with Laguna Leather. I like his Laguna Leather better than the suede. That's just me. It's that suede headliner I'll probably get the Harmon Card and Sunroof. All spec'd out, probably about $90,000, $91,000. Again, it might actually be cheaper than my spec'd out Dodge Durango that I did in the previous video. So, will I trade in my Charger 2018 Charger Hellcat in June? A strong, strong maybe. It's stronger than Dodge Durango. The track walk is staying. We already talked about that. We're probably not going to trade in the track off for the Durango Hellcat, but this is a strong possibility. When this lease is up, I have a choice. I can either keep the car, buy it, and finance it, finance the balance, keep the car, or I could get the new 2021 Dodge Charger Hellcat. Right on! 797 horsepower! Strong, strong maybe. We have seven months. Seven months. Seven months to decide. Not going to make a decision now, but it is something to talk about in future videos and I will continue to talk about it. So, also, what I've been talking about before, oh yes, well, <laughs> before I get into the next thing I wanted to talk about, I just wanted to, to say, I hope you enjoyed this video, and those are my final thoughts. So why was I saying that? Because we also want to talk about what's coming next on the Red Hellcat channel, because it is December, and I promise you two more videos for the month of December. This one, with the Hellcat Charger Red Eye, and then also we have the big box mod for the Hellcat, for this Hellcat, for this car, the Big Box Mod. The Big Box Mod has been on it for a couple of months. I absolutely love this modification. It is one of the greatest mods I've ever done, short of the leg maker, and I cannot wait to share it with you. That video is coming up next. It's right after this video, so stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. I promise you, the next video will be this, and it will be before the end of the year, I promise. And I will talk about more about the new Charger Hellcat Red Hat in that video as well. If I get some specs, as far as pricing, and I get a chance to use the configurator, I will price out my Charger Hellcat Red Eye, and we will talk about it. So, without further ado, video is now over. So, I do want to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos. Hope you're having a fantastic day. It is such a gorgeous day out in New Jersey. It's early. I haven't had lunch yet. I'm going to have lunch right now because I'm starving. But without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did enjoy this video, if you did enjoy this video, please support the channel by hitting that like button. Thumbs up, hit the like button. Also, put in a comment or two. Put in a comment, type in a comment as to what will you get for 2021. If you have a Hellcat Charger or Challenger, will you be considering the Red Eye Charger? The Charger Hellcat Red Eye. Are you going to consider it? Uh, what should I do? Put in a comment. People put in comments about the Hellcat Durango, and I do appreciate you, those that have put in comments about the Hellcat Durango video. They said, you're going to keep the track on. You're better off getting the red eye. So post that comment again. Tell me, I should get the red eye, and I will strongly consider it. I mean, I'm really thinking about I mean, I got seven months, and if I make the decision early, I can start saving some money to go towards it, because let me tell you, $90,000. This, this was originally only $70,000, so that's another step up for me. $90,000 charger. So if we do decide to get it, I'm going to have to save, I'm going to have to save some money. So put in the comment at two, let me know, should I get the new 2021 charger? Okay. Right. Eye. <laughs> 
And also, uh, share the video with everyone. Share it, share it, share it, because I think I'm the only channel out there that's putting together all four videos. There are four videos about the Charger Hellcat Red Eye in one video. Four videos in one video. Only person on YouTube that's doing that right now. So I hope you enjoy this video. It's all in one video for you. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please subscribe because the big box mod for the Hellcat is coming up. The big box mod for the Hellcat is coming up. If you don't subscribe and don't hit the bell notification when I post that video, you will not know it. I always want you to know when the video of mine comes up because we're going to be posting videos once a week. We're going to go back to the regular schedule. The holidays are coming up, so I might have this video and the, Hell and the uh, big box mod for the Hellcat video for the end of the year. And then come January, we're going to go week after week after week with videos, videos, videos. And all I need is your support. We have now over 500 subscribers. Thank you very much. I think at the time of this video, the time of me recording, so we have 522 subscribers. 522 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all my OG subscribers that have been with me since the beginning when I launched the Hellcat channel back in July of 2018. That's when we launched this channel. The channel's a little over two years old, so I'm very, very proud of what we've been able to accomplish. Thank you again for your support, and thank you all that have subscribed over the past month, month and a half. I got like 35 new subscribers in the past month and a half, and I do appreciate each and every one of you new subscribers, and I also appreciate my existing subscribers as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So without further ado, let's stop talking because this video is over. I just want to say thank you everyone for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Also, also, also very important, be safe out there. Be safe out there. We're still in the midst of a COVID-19. Take care. And one more time, we're going to give you the peace.